for you in order for you to progress to your career. Kaya nga may manager ka eh. The main responsibility of a manager is to manage you, not to micromanage you. So same is true in relationship. If your partner has an absolute need to be right, it's a very difficult relationship to be in. In order for you to win a battle in a relationship, you have to understand that your main weapon is communication. And it's not just about communication, it's about comprehension of the communication. The ultimate goal is for the relationship to prosper and to continue. Do not just tell me that I already told him the things that I want to tell him and he still doesn't listen. There might be an instance wherein he might not really understood what you're trying to say. I mean, you don't just tell them what is the end result. You tell them the purpose, the reason. You just don't point them to that direction. And letting the people realize that, my friends, would somehow allow them to be able to not just follow you, but to understand why they have to do the things that you say. Sino nagkamali? Nagkulang o yung sumuko? I think... Ang nagkamali doon ay ang sumuko. Yung sumuko did not give the chance doon sa tao na kukulang sa kanya na punuin yung mga pagkukulang. There was no fair chance that was given. How can someone solve the problem if you did not tell them the problem in the first place? You have to communicate. You have to comprehend the communication and never stop communicating with the intent of solving the problem. And at the end of the day, you both choose each other, whatever happens. Expectation itself is very dangerous because it is a vehicle to frustration. Part of the reason why most people get frustrated kasi may expectation. Is that a justifiable means? Na okay ko yan, Darks, kung sinasabi mong para hindi ka ma-frustrate, dapat hindi ka ma-expect. Of course not. Um, there are certain levels of expectation, especially in a relationship. Mga kaibigan, at the end of the day, may responsibilidad at susundo at inahatid. Pero hindi mo sinabi yun. You're just thinking na dapat sunduin niya ako ba? And then expect you to do this seven times. Hindi mo na siya mag-message, hindi mo na siya kinakausap ka maayos because you have expectation that was unspoken. It brought you frustration. And is that fair for your partner? I don't think so. I think that whenever you have something that you expect from your partner, you have to voice it out. Because somehow, if you don't tell them straight off, that is a huge reason as to why the relationship will not work because once you have full of frustration, you get fed up on things, hence, you will quit. Paano naman po, Kuya Darbs, pag gusto mo pag-usapan yung pinag-awayan para marinig naman yung both side, pero lagi na lang sinasabi na wag na pag-usapan kasi mag-aaway lang daw. Pag nag-away kami, pinapalipas na ang ilang araw na di nag-uusap. Tapos pag nag-uusap, gusto instant forgiveness agad. Ayaw niyang pag-usapan yung pinag-awayan. Kaya ako sumo. Well, you have the right. Always try to communicate the reason as to why you guys fought. Pero, again, when there is an open communication of the issue, the goal is to understand and to dissect. The goal should not be blaming your person kung sino yung may mali doon sa sitwasyon na yun. The reason I think why most men or why most women don't want to talk about it because siguro may habit ka in improving or shoving it into their face that they're wrong and they're right. And that is the reason why they don't want it to discuss about it. But once you make the goal of the discussion, finding out where both of you could have improved and there's no judgment kung sino man yung may kasalanan, it's just that this is data for us not to fight again of the same issue, then I think that would have had a different outcome. Both souls should have the main purpose of being together whatever happens. If ever the goal is like that, every problem will always have a solution. Hindi pwede kasi ikaw lang ikaksunisa hindi. Hindi nyo expect the relationship to work. It won't, my friend. Kuya Darbs, is it so hard? Stop overthinking. Your boyfriend was once a player, a flirt, and has been intimate with other girls before. We are both different people, but he says I change him, that he's changed. How to stop doubting whenever we aren't together? Ito rin ha, this is a very good advice that I'm gonna tell you. If ever you always think about this, kahit nasabihin mong pinipigilan mo yung sarili mo, there will always be side comments that would direct you from being and looking insecure. Is it why a relationship 
in one of the foundations of a strong relationship, aside from communication, is trust. I think that is one of the greatest foundations of love, and that is to trust someone not to destroy you, even if they have the power to. Real talk tayo. Um, if ever you are in a situation where the relationship didn't work, it's okay. I mean, at the end of the day, my friends, there are still situations where you will fail, not just in relationship, but in life in general. What the ultimate failure is when you stop trying. It's okay because not every individual is perfect. Not every individual has the capacity to be strong from the very beginning. A master was once a disaster and nobody started great. What's important is you have the self-audit, you have the capacity to accept the mistakes that you did, and you have the wisdom to understand yourself so much. Just continue on improving, continue to self-audit, and have that self-awareness so that somehow one day, you will be able to become the right person for someone. My friends, thank you very much uh, for joining me here tonight. I am always happy to bring you guys value. And if ever you want to support Real Talk Darbs, please go ahead, support me by watching my um, wisdom bars or listening to my wisdom bars with Real Talk Darbs. That is the podcast that I have. If you missed this, you can go ahead, check in Spotify. Follow me there. Leave a review So Apple Podcast. It's going to be there as well. Um, I aim to be at least on the top. to a breakthrough yun. How are we able to turn something that is so painful, so difficult, that most people are actually shattered when they go through this process in life? Na pwede pala na ito lang yung kailangan nating maramdaman, maranasan, para mag-level up. And that is something that we're gonna be able to discuss tonight. Ito yung bagay na hindi kasi karamihan alam ng tao. Nakala nila, pag heartbreak, pag difficulties, pag iniwan sila ng jowa, that's all negative. Pero you don't know that actually molds you to become a better version of yourself. A better partner for your future partner. And most people don't realize that. And that is the reason why we discuss that in you. Number one is, ikaw na muna. This is an opportunity 
my friend, for you to really choose yourself this time. Now, instead of blaming your partner or mga tao, I mean, stop doing that because this is one of the ways for you to have an opportunity to see na yung mga energy na, na nawala before, this is an opportunity for you to turn it around and give it back to yourself. Wishing things had gone differently, oh, this is fruitless because that will most likely increase your feelings of brokenness, shame, and despair. Well, this is an opportunity for you to focus on things that matter, which is yourself. Minsan kasi, that we tend to leave ourselves behind. Mas iniisip pa natin yung taong na nakit sa atin, pero ang pinakahuling tao na iniisip natin sa ganitong klaseng sitwasyon ay tayo mismo. Minsan kasi kaya din tayo nahihirapang mag move forward is because we don't paddle our way to the river. Most of the time, we just drown because we just allow it. We don't do anything. You look at the other side of the river. Hindi mo iniisip na da-drown ka na kasi tinitingnan mo na sana nandun pa ako sa ground. Sana magkasama pa kami sa mga buhol din sa you fail to accept the what is. You're living in the past. I think that responsibility mo yun. You don't have to wait for someone to do and remove the pain that you're feeling. Responsibility. May sugat ka, di ba? Dito. Hindi doon sa baba. Sa mga babae din. Kasi yung sugat nyo, uh, hindi naghihilom yan. Yung sugat naman, may hiwa ka. May hi- <laughs> Basta may hiwa ka, may hiwa ka dito. Okay, so ginamot na yung sugat. So may band aid na yan. Ang feeling the pain is that kung kikirot yung sugat, hayaan mo lang maramdaman yung kirot. Meron kasing iba na yung pagramdam ng sakit, eh, binubuksan, tinitingnan, tapos pinipress-press. Ganon, hindi ganon. Kasi hindi ka maghihilom kung palagi mong babalik-balikan at sinasadya mo. You let the process of healing take you. Pero kung sa... Tonight, 
Yeah. 